Hello everyone. Homeopathy Heals again welcomes you in the today's video. In the previous video, we have already discussed about the drug picture, mental feelings of stramonium. In this video, we'll be discussing and comparing the other drugs of homeopathic materia medica with stramonium. So let's get started. My first point for the today's video is that how stramonium differs from belladonna. Number one thing is that stramonium is not at all congested like belladonna. As belladonna has active principle atropin, so you will be finding burning, redness, pain, dryness in belladonna. Whereas there is no congestion found in stramonium. Another thing, stramonium acts best in children and young infants than belladonna. My second point is how loquacity of stramonium is differing from lachesis and agaricus. In stramonium, loquacity consists of very simple and small talks. It could be loquacity about anything and the topic has very less value. Whereas in lachesis, he talks a lot and he jumps from topic to topic. The one moment lachesis is talking about one subject, and the very next moment, Lachesis jumps to the another subject. Whereas in Agaricus, the loquacity is in form of poems. Agaricus loves making songs and singing them in verses. Third point, how the delusion of Stramonium differs from Baptisia and Theuja. In Stramonium, he imagines that he is very large or he is having two legs or three legs and he has illusion of shape. The same illusion of shape is found in Baptisia but Baptisia has delusion that his body is scattered in the bed and he is somewhat trying to gather it to get all those pieces together. Whereas in Thuja, patient imagines or he has delusion that he is made up of glass. So he walks very carefully with having a fear that he will he is fragile and he will be broken very soon. You should think of stramonium when child has erysipelas eruptions just like Rustox and Belladonna. But when these eruptions are associated with violent cerebral symptoms. Whenever I came across rashes along with the brain symptoms, I do not go for Rustox or Belladonna. I uh, preferably choose Stramonium. Fourth point is how the convergence of Stramonium can be compared with other remedies. In Stramonium, every muscle of the body twitch from eye to the toe. The chief indication of convulsion of stram is that spasms are generally clonic in nature, not tonic. Whereas in Nux vomica and strichin, strichin is also one of the most important active principle of Nux vomica and both of them has tonic nature of spasm. Whereas in Secuta virosa, the spasms are so violent, patient turn to the bow and arrow opisthotonous uh, nature of spasm and twitching in general is present which is a PQRS feature of Secuta. I hope you have liked this video. Please share among your friends. Write in the comment section that how much you like it. Stay fit, stay healthy, homeopathy heals.